Hey guys, Wrath here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can install 5M server sided EP. Uh, by server sided, I mean uh, for your server and not client sided. So, uh, first thing you need is a $1950 subscription uh, to the CFX uh, Patreon. It has to be $1950 or above. Uh, anything less and it won't work, you'd have to do it client sided, and that only mean uh, that you, only you would be able to see it. So, uh, once you have this, basically just open your browser, um, and then you can just type in uh, 5M UP 5.0, and we're not downloading 5.0, but it'll take us to the uh, the main main page here. Uh, okay, and then I'm personally going to download uh, UP 8.1 server sided, and then uh, the UP 8.1 menu. So we can just click on these. Both are going to be mega links. And just a warning, this uh, server-sided EUP stream is going to take a while to download because uh, obviously it's a large file because, you know, all the textures and the models. Uh, and also, when starting your server, uh, it's going to take longer, so don't worry about that. Uh, so you can just download this and then accept and then download this. So... Uh, you need to download the stream, and then it's optional to download the menu. But if you want to be able to spawn stuff, then you should ju you should download the menu. So, open this, close out of this for a second, and then I'll show you guys everything else once everything's downloaded. So, drag this here, and then it's going to take a while uh, for this to finish. So I'll be back when it does. All right. So uh, the stream just finished downloading. Uh, so now you can just drag this onto your desktop for now. Uh, let it uh, extract and while we're doing that come back over to your browser um, once you have your uh, UI and stream folder and then you want to type in 5m native UI and then click on the first one uh, click on the code download zip and basically uh, what this is it will just it, it gives us what we need for our menu to work correctly so that's basically what it does if you guys were wondering so uh, we can open this uh, native UI just drag this you don't need anything else just native UI okay uh, to close out of this you can now close your browser once you have everything downloaded so once everything's done you should have your three folders uh, UI stream native and uh, native UI so we can open our server folder, server data, resources, and what I like to do personally, and I think that it's a pretty good practice, is uh, create you know uh, subfolders for different types of uh, resources, so I can manage everything and have it looking organized. This is just my test server, but uh, we can just up. Make sure you put the brackets around it. Uh, so it doesn't think it's a folder. You can just select all three of these, drag it into EP. Wait, open that. Okay. Uh, so now we have like uh, two more things to do. So we need to open this folder and grab the UI EP UI, drag it into EP, and then delete this. And then you want to open this one. Uh, get the EP stream, click on it, and drag it into EP, and then we can delete this one. So. Now, at this point, everything should be looking like this. Stream, UI, and native UI. So, this is what everything you should have so far. So, uh, now that that's done, you can go back to your server data folder and open your server config folder. Uh, and then, obviously, like I said before, EP. And then, you can open this. And then, you need to start everything. Um second here open this up uh, so you may you need to start all three of these um, so the first one uh, I'll do native UI so ensure start whatever it is for you ensure native UI ensure up dash stream and then ensure up dash UI so in your server config file if you don't have this or if you don't have your server set up I'll have a link in the description uh, for that video but uh, now you should have all three and basically this is just since I have a folder here called EP I made one here so it's just for organization 
So now that we have all those three, everything should be working now. So we'll go ahead and start up the server, and then I'll be right back when I'm in game. All right, uh, we're now in game, and once you spawn in, uh, what you can do is just uh, in, in the chat uh, type slash up. Okay, and then this is the menu uh, that will open up, and if it's not opening up, ensure you have the correct version of the UPUI downloaded, and also the correct version of the native UI. Don't download the old one, download the one I showed you, and the link for that will be in the description. So, uh, you have 31 different categories of uh, fictional departments in game, and basically, you can just select whatever you want now, so... Yeah, if you followed everything correctly, uh, you should have, I mean, you should have uh, all this stuff that you're seeing now. And it might, like you just saw there, take a little while to load uh, if you're spawning everything in for the first time. But, um, yeah, I mean, everything should be working now. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, have a great day.